Very good afternoon my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. It was important and necessary to make this video right now because of what happened yesterday about the news of the uh, potential successful of the vaccine test uh, from uh, Pfizer. Uh, they have sent yesterday the uh, the news, they announced that the, the, the vaccine is now successful and it has more than 90% winning ratio. And of course, that has affected the market directly. Actually, I want to show you something. Just a second. So this is from my video uh, two weeks ago of the weekly analysis. And in this analysis, I mentioned it clearly and I said that what actually controls the market right now is not the winning or the winner of the elections in the United States. It's what happening about the pandemic and if they found any possible vaccine for it. Please listen carefully to what I said because it has happened exactly as I predicted. Listen. The pandemic is controlling what's going to happen in the market. For example, the problem here, guys, is the timing. The timing of the elections is really is actually is the same as the time of the release of the vaccine of the COVID-19 virus. So, for example, let's say Mr. Joe Biden, he wins the elections, right? And of course, uh, when he wins the election, the USD dollar is going to get weaker. However, if he wins on 3rd of November, then on 10th of November, they announced that the releasing of all right so i paused the video now listen to listen carefully i said if on 10th november they have announced the vaccine and they did actually announce uh, the successful uh, test for the vaccine on 9th of november which is really close let's go back to the video the COVID 19 virus and the vaccine is ready did I say the release of COVID? Okay, let me just rephrase that. If they announce on 10th of November releasing the vaccine for COVID-19 virus or even the cure of the virus, that's going to be, of course, very good for the currency and the pair going to fly up, ignoring what happened during the elections. Or Did you hear that? What I said clearly here is that if they have announced the vaccine, or, sorry, the vaccine for COVID-19 virus, that's actually what is gonna move the market now let's go back to the market and see what happened let's check the gold for for god's sake look at the gold the gold didn't really move that much when mr joe biden has won the elections we can see right here that the gold has actually rose for a few pips only then after that the gold has immediately fall down for more than ten thousand pips I told you, what's really controlling the market is the vaccine of COVID-19 virus. It is the reason why the market has moved like this, not because of Mr. Joe Biden has won the elections. Um, the timing was really, um, it's a big coincidence to be honest. And sadly it happened uh, exactly during, during the time of the elections. That's why the market was tough. And of course, not only the gold, USDCHF as well, of course, definitely USD, JPY as well, and Euro USD is still ranging there. Uh, you, pounds, pound USD actually has continued rising uh, above that level, reaching the take profit directly. And yeah, as you can see, this is what happened in the in the market. And of course, definitely, that has also affected our uh, signals in the premium group. And we have announced to everyone that the signals uh, that day went in bad uh, results only because of what uh, the Pfizer has announced suddenly uh, about the results of the COVID-19 uh, vaccine test. However, we promised our members that we are going to recover any potential losses happened because of this news. And thankfully today, 10th of November, we have sent these signals. And as you can see, thankfully, all of them have went in the profit except CHF GPY, 15 pips of loss against all these profits that we have made. Most of the signals, I think all of them, all of them have reached take profit number two. Euro, Euro pound, 50 pips. Euro USD, 50 pips. Pound AUD, 60 pips. Pound NZD, 60 pips. So we are really happy. We are so happy about that. And we have sent to our members. We have fulfilled our promise to you. And we have successfully recovered all your losses from yesterday. And definitely not to hide, not to mention that we have actually received a lot of very happy and positive feedbacks from our clients who are enjoying the profits and they have recovered any losses from yesterday, recovered 80% of yesterday loss due to COVID news. So actually they are very glad and I'm really happy, of course, for what happened. You, you can see here they're saying recovery. 
they happy because they recovered the losses this is what we do at extreme trader we are traders so if there was any bad day because of the unexpected news we will do of course our best to recover the potential losses we are a day traders and this is exactly what we are doing in extreme trader and of course if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so of course as i have just explained to you uh, the whole signals now need to be changed because of the announcements of the COVID-19 vaccine test. Now, for example, uh, for the Euro USD, the signal for the buy is no longer valid. So I'm going to delete that. And of course, right now we are going to uh, head to start shorting the Euro USD. Now, we need to find where exactly we can start shorting the pair. Now, what I'm looking for actually is start shorting the pair right here at the peak of that resistance. Now, we are on the four hour time frame. And what we can see right here is a head and shoulders pattern has already been uh, completed and therefore we can expect from the euro usd to continue the fall right away however uh, just to be safe i'm gonna give you a safe entry and what we can see right here what is representing a resistance number one and we can hopefully see the market actually respecting that support level right here on 1.18072 and seems like the pair is actually right now reversing on that support level hopefully is the pair is gonna uh, is now preparing to shoot up to hit uh, the same level of the resistance so we can witness a resistance number two that is exactly where we are looking to start selling the pair so uh, your usd should be good for the short right here on the level uh, sell at uh, 1.18367 and of course in that scenario we can expect the uh, edge of the safe zone to be exactly here at the top of that resistance which is going to last for almost 56 pips and the target this time is going to be the support level right here this is our target actually the pair most likely is going to continue the fall all the way to, re to retest that support level on 1.17179 so therefore that's going to be our take profit level <coughs> take profit is going to be 1.17179 Hopefully also it's also going to work out as a good signal and we will bring some good profits out of it. Now let's look at the pound USD. Pound USD has actually continued the rise uh, exactly as I told you in the last uh, weekly analysis video. So therefore the signal of the buy right now is not valid anymore. What we can look for actually is to sell the pound USD. Now looking at the daily candles we can notice that the pair has actually just visited that very strong sub, uh, resistance level on 1.3251 making it actually good for the short right away so on daily on daily candles we can start shorting the uh, pound usd right now and the safe zone is going to be ranging until the top of the peak of the other resistance which is really a lot let me just go back to the four hour time frame exactly um, the safe zone is going to be ranging right here at the top of that resistance so we can expect almost 50 pips as a safe zone however uh, I'm I know I'm aware it's it's might it might be difficult to start short the, shorting the pair right now we can see that it's already reversing uh, I just hate giving signals to start shorting or buying right away so therefore I'm gonna adjust it and I'm gonna select that the peak of that resistance right here as my entry level we need to prepare maybe the pair is going to rise for another 26 pips before it's going to be valid for the short and the safe zone is going to be ranging for 57 pips let me just draw for you the, the edge of the safe zone i'm gonna try to finish this video quickly so i can post it as soon as possible uh, because actually the valid signals are or sorry the valid entries are actually available right away and then we are gonna actually start uh also we are gonna set the take profit level right here to be at the support level at 1.31211 aiming 160 pips hopefully gonna be in a good profit so take profit is gonna be 1.31211 again also hopefully it will be a good signal let's now look at the AUD USD. AUDUSD has also continued to rise and it has made the, the bullish breakout candle from this uh, long term resistance. Therefore, the buy signal right now here is not really valid at all. Let's get rid of it. And instead, we are actually going to short the AUDUSD. Let me just show you exactly where we can start short the pair. Uh, we're going to wait 
we have to wait for the pair to visit again the same resistance as 0 0.73248 so we need to wait for the pair to rise for another 38 pips before it's gonna be really good and valid for the short we always have to be very careful when we are trading in such market um the market really in horrible condition right now uh, unless you you know what you are doing so i am on let's go to the daily candles and of course i'm gonna set the safe zone to be at the top of the other resistance and it's gonna be ranging uh, that's a lot like that actually much better so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for 41 pips only no more that's fine and that will start sell the pair at 0 0.73248 and of course let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone like that and the take profit level is gonna be that support level right here um take profit level is gonna be 0 0.71886 uh, as you can see guys i'm in a hurry because i need to post this video as soon as possible and I, do I don't want anyone to miss the opportunities that that is actually waiting for us shorting now let's go to the usd cad shorting the usd cad is not really valid right now at the moment the usd has gained some strength and therefore we're gonna cancel the signal for shorting the usd cad we're gonna replace it with actually a buy signal so therefore what i'm going to do right now here is waiting for the pair to fall for another 16 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy and of course the safe zone is going to be ranging until the bottom of the support level right here so the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 60 pips, which is really fine. I don't even think the pair is going to uh, fall inside the safe zone. I think it's going to continue shooting up. So this is like that. And we can start buying the USD CAD by at the level 1.29972. And the take profit level is going to be 1.31475 hopefully also it's gonna work out well for us and gonna bring us a lot of profits let's now look at the usd gpy so the usd gpy of course uh, it didn't work at all because of the of the news of the vaccine of course and therefore what we need to look now for is to continue buying the pair now if we look at the chart we can see right here that we had a strong a very strong key support level that support level can never be ignored uh, i believe now the market is going to continue the fall to gain some liquidity and after that it's going to continue shooting up after hitting that lowest level of the support however i i believe we can start buying the usd gpy sooner than that uh, by looking at the left we can see that we had a stronger key support level at 104.932 we need to rely on that level as we can see the market once it has visited that level it the, the market has never been able to actually close below that level when the market let me just zoom in when the market has actually made three attempts to break out from that level as we can see the market has created right here a long tail and eventually the next candle was a strong bullish candle that means the market was not able to close below that support level hence we are gonna rely on that level to start buying the pair so we can start buying the usd gpy at 104.3932 and the safe zone which is in my opinion not gonna be needed at all because i think it's very obvious that the usd gpy should be good for the buy uh the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 40 pips only no more and the tech profit level of course is going to be the top of the resistance level right here and that's gonna give us hopefully 100 pips of profit hopefully we'll make them all so the tech profit is 105.988 hopefully also it's gonna work out well for us as a good signal now let's uh, let's look at the usd chf usd chf setup is very similar to the usd gpy and i'm not gonna waste your time i'm gonna go ahead directly to draw for you where we can start buying the pair exactly what we did with the usd gpy we need to look at the strong key support levels right here and as we can see the pair has actually made already a support number one right here not even one single candle was able to close below that level therefore that's going to be the level we're going to rely on and the safe zone is going to be right here exactly and it's going to be ranging for almost 40 to 42 pips only no more we can start buying the usdchf at 0 0.91234 
and this time the take profit, profit take profit level is gonna be exactly at the top of the resistance right here so we are looking for almost 80 pips hopefully also we will make them take profit is gonna be um 0 0.92058 now let's move to the gold the gold signal actually uh is gonna be a scalping signal right now i don't think it's convenient at all to give you um long-term signal for the gold since the gold actually is moving like crazy right now so let's see what we can do with the gold so actually the gold seems like it's going to continue its bearish momentum supported by the, str the, the strength that have uh, the, the, the usd has gained and what we can look for is the strongest support and resistance levels um this time we're going to relying on the fibonacci retracement so i have drawn here my fibonacci retracement and as we can see we are actually now aiming the level between fibonacci 50 and 61.8 and if we look carefully we can see that right here we're having the very strong key resistance level as we can see the pair has actually respected that resistance on the long run uh, for quite so many times and therefore that resistance cannot be ignored so to give you the safest entry possible for the gold the gold right now is moving in high volatility and i believe that the gold is going to try to make some corrections until it reach that top of the resistance that's going to be actually the best level to start selling the gold i really hope this is going to happen this week but however that is exactly where we want to start shorting the gold any other signal than that i think it's not going to be safe to be given so the gold should be sold at the level 1912.05 and if that happens we can continue the trade sorry we can continue to keep the trade until it hit the lowest level of the support right here at the bottom of the support of course so we are aiming hopefully 292 pips of profit uh, hopefully we'll make them of course so the take profit is gonna be 1882.84 the safe zone of course this time it's going to be actually, um, let me just show you. The safe zone is going to be ranging until the top of the level of the resistance right here. So the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 120 pips. And here I'm going to draw for you this, the edge of the safe zone. So there goes your sig signals for the midweek analysis video. Uh, I'm telling you, please be careful this week seems like full of news and full of unexpected uh, announcement about the COVID-19 uh, vaccine especially now Mr. Trump has not yet um, has not yet uh, what is the right term to use um, has not yet um, what is the right term to use here yeah has not yet admit his uh, he's losing the, uh, the elections so we have to be careful for what will, what will gonna happen if he's gonna open a case in the court and the court gonna accept his case then that's actually gonna change everything again please be, be guys please be extra careful and don't trade with big lots this time make it next week if you want but this week we have to be very careful so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching